you guys actually might become friends. Oh, you're taking it too far. I know be friend with Indian. What is it? What is this? Me be friend with Pakistani? You're No. Oh, okay. Okay. Way of life as cute. Even in a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about the actual truth of what's happening in Kashmir. MashaAllah, finally he made video about Kashmir. Before we jump into this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up. And I need you to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. If you aren't already doing so, please make sure that you're connecting with me on Instagram. I post a daily Islamic reminder exclusive to Instagram every single day. I don't want you to miss out. Also, a huge shout out to my OG subscribers out there. Jazakallah Khan for subscribing, staying with the journey, showing your love, your support. To all my new subscribers out there, Welcome to the channel. Oh, calm down, no wait, calm down. There's tons of awesome videos out there to tell you about the history and the revoking of the Article 370, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about exposing the truth as to why they're actually messing with us right now. Brother, forget and move on. The truth is that the media is trying to create a ton of propaganda to do one major thing, and that's to instill hate. You see, hate is something strong because hate could then lead to fear and then Fear leads to one major thing, and that is control. Really? You see, these governments are very intelligent. They understand that the only way that they can actually control people, not just through economics, through finances, through lack of resources like water, electricity, and things of that nature, but it's actually through instilling hatred in people's hearts so then they could get the media to put some fear in people's hearts, and the next thing you know, they're controlling you. No. You see, the average youngster doesn't understand why India and Pakistan even have beef. People are so interested in playing Fortnite these days that they don't really have a rich understanding of their own history. Constantly remind the people as to why they hate each other. These sort of stunts are taking place to make sure that they're instilling hatred in people's hearts and it doesn't leave. You're gonna come, you're gonna come here in a calm tone, do a video, you see, the average Pakistani child or Indian child doesn't understand why the beef and the history of the beef. So they instill these modern day media stuff to maintain that beef and hatred amongst people so they can remain hating each other without even knowing why. You see, so many Pakistani people hate Indians, yet what you don't realize is that you're hating your brothers and sisters in India who happen to be Muslim. India has the second highest Muslim population in the world and you're hating a whole country. When you're hating that country, you're actually hating your Muslim brothers and sisters in that country. Zakir Nai. Okay, India hates Pakistan, yet you're one of the top Pakistani drama consumers after Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan Hamara. You guys love their dramas, yet you hate them? That makes zero sense. Let's move on. So much propaganda being put out from media stations because they want to instill hatred in people's hearts and they want to allow ignorance and confusion to develop. So many of my Indian brothers and sisters are messaging me and writing such nasty comments towards me because I am exposing all the craziness that's happening in Kashmir on my Instagram page. Or don't you speak about India, oi, India. It's like the countries are creating this innate hatred for someone besides yourself. And that leads towards entitlement. And anything that leads towards entitlement shows the footsteps of the shaitan because indeed the shaitan was stricken with entitlement. Pakistan hates India, okay, yet you're their top Bollywood consumers out there with the movies and the music. You go to Pakistan, right? and you listen to anyone's car, guess what they're playing? They're playing some Bollywood stuff, bro. Everywhere you go, it's such a Bollywood culture there. They got photos, posters of Shah Rukh Khan and everything like that, because they love their Bollywood. Yet you hate India? This is how much they love Bollywood. That they decided to ban Bollywood movies due to this entire drama that's taking place because they know how much Pakistanis love Bollywood. So not only are you hurting the pockets of Indians, yet you're also hurting the entertainment of Pakistanis because they actually love their Indian movies. Do you know what the hell you are uttering? You see, when they keep us separate, we're controllable. Both countries are stricken with poverty. Both countries are stricken with water-related issues for cleanliness or perhaps even availability. Electricity is taken away from both Pakistan and India almost all the time. You know what? You, look, you came clean, no problem. There's so many things they have in common, but if they start focusing on all the things you have in common, then you guys actually might become friends. Oh, you're taking it too far. I know be friend with Indian. What is it? What is this? Me be friend with Pakistani? You're right. 
No. I know be friend with Indian. I love cricket too much. No, no, no. I love cricket too much. I love cricket. Oh, no way, bro. I love cricket too. Achha, you, you, you watch him play cricket. Of course, I'm in the league, ya. Yeah. Bro, you must show me how you do a googly. Yaar, I'll show you googly. Show me. You show me how you do batting, ha. Huh? Yaar, let's go drink a Pepsi. Hey, right, come on, yaar. Let's go get a bottle, shotal. Because separately, you guys are controllable. But together, you're unstoppable. And they know this. Oh, okay. Okay. And they don't want want you to unite and become unstoppable so they maintain a difference between people so they can control you. Stop all this nonsense, bro. Go speak to a Muslim. Go speak to an Indian. Go speak to a Pakistani and settle your differences. You're normal people just like one another. But because of your differences, they are controlling you. Governments, countries are all brainwashing your heads to make you think that you don't have something in common when that's not what the Messenger them taught us. The Messenger them taught us to spread the salams and to greet people with smiles and to assume the best in people. But the way the countries want you to behave is the complete opposite from the Quran and the Sunnah. And that's always dangerous. So break the silence. Don't let the shaitan win. Don't let his arrogance and ego and entitlement fill your hearts and your desires as well. The truth is that none of these countries have your best interests. The real best interest is in the Quran and in the Sunnah, whether you like it or not. Because if these countries did have your best interest, they would try their best to make sure that the people don't hate each other. And that's not what's happening because that's not what sells media and newspapers. And don't let these people win because wallahi, all they want to do is control you and we ain't going to let that happen. Well, that was my video, guys. I appreciate you watching this. Jazakal Khan, it means the world to me. Tell me in the comment section below, what was your take on this? What were some major takeaways from this? Or what were some points that perhaps I even missed? I would love your feedback. Drop them in the comment section below. And of course, if you benefit from this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day. Another day. For the breath I 